Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film. Rambach, Berlin Undead. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a shot of balding man named Michael, who is looking a little clueless. We see a few photographs of Michael with a girl named Gabby, where they look happy together. However, it turns out that Michael is actually there to return Gabby's keys to her, as they seem to have broken up. Michael doesn't like his current situation, so he complains that it's unfair for them to have broken up after seven years together, simply because she thought they were drifting apart. That's what we learn that Michael isn't talking to Gabby, but is actually rehearsing for his meeting with her. He's using his friend's help to figure out what to say, but the friend tells Michael that he shouldn't be so emotional about meeting Gabby, and he should just be casual about it. Michael doesn't agree with him, but eventually says he'll give it a shot. His friend drives away, and then Michael hears a man screaming, after which, there's a gunshot as well. Michael doesn't think much of it at first, and heads toward Gabby's place. However, he finds the door to her house open, and looks around for her by tracing her hormone smell, but hears weird sounds coming from her room. Michael enters the room and finds a repairman who is struggling with some kind of illness. The repairman is shown to have been bitten by someone, and he doesn't respond to Michael, so he goes outside and tries to call Gabby. Now the repairman's assistant, Harper, meets his boss and asks him if everything is alright, but it's too late as his boss has turned into a zombie, but still intends to repair something. The zombie repairman attacks Harper, trying to fix his muscles, not the machines, but Michael doesn't understand what's going on, so he asks the two to stop fighting. Zombie repairman chases after Michael instead and grabs him by his bag, trying to find some repair tools and causing him to lose his cell phone. Luckily, Harper shows up and drags zombie repairman away, allowing Michael to get back inside Gabby's house. Now Michael and Harper lock the zombie outside with the help of some drawers. Then, they try to look for help through the windows of the house. Michael spots a cop and calls out to him, but realizes that he's also a zombie. A brutal sight follows, as all the innocent residents of Berlin are getting attacked and killed by zombies. The invasion grows worse as every human gets infected and transforms into a zombie as well. Michael asks Harper about what Gabby said to him, but he simply says that she went out and had promised to be back soon. This doesn't make any sense to Michael, and then he hears his phone ringing outside. Michael wants to answer the phone because he thinks it's Gabby. However, Harper stops him from opening the door because the zombie is still outside. The men turn on the news to try and understand what is going on. However, the news correspondent talks to a local officer who says that everyone should just stay inside and not look for any loved ones. There is also talk of the victims getting infected through bite marks, but the officer says it's best not to spread any unnecessary rumors. With nothing else to do, Harper decides to make some coffee for the men. At night, the news maintains that there is no known cause of the virus, and then Michael checks the view from window. He finds zombies downstairs, so he moves away and decides to cheer himself up with Gabby's bunny rabbit. He playfully asks the rabbit if it knows where Gabby is, and then he checks a camera, which has images of Gabby. Seeing her face makes Michael emotional, so he goes to sleep after making himself comfy. The next day, the TV goes out, so Harper asks Michael for a radio. He says that there's one in Gabby's room, and then he goes to change. Harper says that the toilet is blocked, but Michael warns him against peeing in the sink. Harper doesn't have any choice, so he pees into a bottle and pours it out of the window. Some of the other neighbors in the community's buildings also peep out of the window, and one of them says that the coast is clear. This is their chance to close the gate to the community, but the neighbors make a lot of noise and attract tons of zombies. A dumb girl named Dumby, not zombie, is particularly loud, and it only gets worse when her brother volunteers to go down and lock the gates. This leads to the zombies coming back and attacking him. A brief struggle follows, and the brother is ultimately killed, thus leading Dumby to start crying in her dumb voice. Later, the news talks about the German government allowing the use of military force. It also turns out, the human immune system can conquer the zombie virus and keep it dormant. However, in order to do that, people need to remain calm despite getting bitten. Michael and Harper discuss what to do next, and then they hear some noise that appears to be a code. Michael is interested in what the code means, but Harper is only interested in making a slingshot to fight the zombies. Michael loses his calm and says that Harper shouldn't mess with Gabby's things as she might get upset. Harper argues that this is a stupid statement because there are worse things to worry about. However, Gabby is Michael's only motivation to live, so he maintains his stance. Now, Michael's phone starts ringing again, and he worries that it might run out of battery soon. The two decide to retrieve the phone as they have no other choice. However, the phone attracts some zombies, and Harper's slingshot is useless against them. Michael quickly takes the phone and runs back inside the house. However, the zombies follow after him and are about to break through the door. 
Harper thinks fast and takes Michael to the bedroom, which they lock with a storage drawer. The phone rings again, and Michael picks it up, thinking it's Gabby. However, it's just his friend from earlier, who advises him to come to his side of the country, because they're safe in a firehouse over there. Michael becomes upset, so he hangs up and gives the phone to Harper, who tries to call his mom. He only ends up going to voicemail, so he leaves a message. The two men have no food or toilet to use anymore, so Michael jokes that the rabbit's litter can be used because it has extra absorbent. Now, an oily middle-aged neighbor named Uncle Oily announces that his wife is infected and he needs some sedatives. Gabby's old neighbor, Granny, is known to have these sedatives, so Harper and Michael are asked to go there and get them. The two men don't know if they can help Uncle Oily with this, but he offers them food in exchange for their services. At night, a muscular but bald man looks out of his window into Michael's room. This creeps out Michael, so he blocks the view with his curtains. Michael looks at the ceiling, and then he asks Harper if he's thinking about his parents. He says he should just go to bed, but Michael acts weird and asks him if he wants to sleep in a bear suit. Harper snaps at him, so Michael goes to sleep in the bear suit instead. The next day, Michael looks out the window and spots the muscular bald man, who has hanged himself, possibly because he fears becoming a bald zombie. Harper panics upon seeing this, but Michael wants to survive, so he suggests getting the sedatives from Granny, so that Uncle Oily can give them some food and possibly some Indian god oil. Michael gets to work with Harper and uses all the available material in the room to make a swinging thruster. The two decide to break through the room's wall and move into the neighboring house, which belongs to Granny. It's a brief and tense sequence as the zombies charge at the door due to the loud sounds. Luckily, the men make it through to the house and block the entrance hole. However, they run into the old granny, who is turned into an energetic zombie and prefers to attack the good-looking men only. She starts to wrestle her dying muscles with Michael, who acts like a weak chicken in front of her. So the two shitty men hide inside a room, where all the medication is kept. The zombies from Gabby's house suddenly break through the entrance hole, so Michael rushes to the pantry, while Harper hides on top of a cupboard. The zombies charge at the pantry and are about to break in, so Michael pulls out the ladder to the attic and climbs inside it before he is ripped to shreds. To Michael's surprise, he finds his ex-girlfriend Gabby, who has been hiding in this attic. He is happily reunited with her, but Gabby's current boyfriend notices a cut on Michael's arm. Gabby worries that Michael might be bitten, but he reassures her that he was just cut on his way inside the house. Michael doesn't like that Gabby is here with her new boyfriend and starts to question her loyalty. Gabby tries her best to keep Michael calm, but he stupidly starts to scream because he can't believe that Gabby lied to him about breaking up. He also accuses her of cheating on his hormones because she was actually hooking a new guy. Michael fails to listen to her reasons, so the boyfriend threatens him with his stick and tells him to go to the roof. Michael wants to take Gabby with him, but she simply shouts at him to get lost. Dejected and saddened, Michael goes to the roof and looks at the devastation in front of him. He did manage to bring along a pack of sedatives from Granny's pantry, so he figures he should go to Uncle Willie's house. He looks around for a way to Uncle Oily's building, while Harper is still shown to be hiding on top of the cupboard. The zombies walk away from Harper, so he quickly scans the area with his camera. Zombie Granny shows up to attack him, but she gets frightened when Harper uses his flash on her. Harper seemingly notices this, and then he checks out his camera. Now Michael finds an entrance through a window and makes his way inside Uncle Oily's building. Tensions rise as Michael assesses whether there are any zombies nearby. He slowly moves down the stairs and picks up a brick for safety measures when he spots some zombies. Michael throws the brick to a distant area and it attracts the zombies toward it. He takes this chance to make a quick escape and then he reaches Uncle Oily's house. Michael knocks on the door and asks Uncle Oily to open up because he has the sedatives. A tense sequence follows as the zombies close in on Michael, but Uncle Oily luckily opens the door in time. Michael hands him the sedatives, so Uncle Oily quickly goes to his ailing wife and gives her the oily pills. Michael checks out the house, while the wife is made to consume the pills. Suddenly, he hears some commotion from outside the building, so he looks outside the window. He spots Harper, who is able to scare the zombies out of the community buildings by using his flash camera. Harper calmly locks the gates, but then Michael hears the wife going crazy. He prepares to attack her, but Uncle Oily tells him to move away. The wife turns into a zombie and is about to attack Michael, but Uncle Oily distracts her. She charges at him instead, and they both fall out of the window and crash to the ground, dying together as a zombie couple. Now that there are no zombies nearby, the community residents gather all the food from Uncle Oily's place, but it doesn't seem to be enough for them. Dummy takes a shine to Harper, so she shares some of her clothes with him when he feels cold. Now, the residents decide to eat together, and Dumby uses this chance to stare at Harper's skinny muscles some more. 
Michael asks Harper how he was able to use the Flash against the zombies, and he reveals he found this out by accident. Michael goes on to explain how he was able to escape from the pantry into the attic, after which he got himself inside Uncle Oily's house. Suddenly, they hear a siren sound, probably coming from a boat. This gives them hope, as Michael believes he can get the team away from there by using this boat. He starts drawing a map and tells everyone that they can follow this path to the boat as long as each of them has a camera. However, a grumpy survivor named Grumpy learns that the boat is small and can only hold two people at a time. Michael says that two of them can paddle while the others can swim, but Grumpy says it's better to just call the whole thing off. Suddenly, the lights lose power, so the team switches on their flashlights. Sensing no other option, Grumpy finally agrees to go ahead with the boat plan. The team goes to sleep, but Dummy wakes up in the middle of the night. She realizes that Grumpy has abandoned the team and has also taken the cameras with him. Dummy acts fast and tells Michael about this, so he chases after Grumpy and manages to snatch a camera from him in the middle of a wrestling session with the zombies. Michael makes it back to the building, but he's shown to have been bitten. This makes Harper upset, but Michael decides to give it everything that he has for the survival mission. He takes a sedative and proceeds to teach Harper and Dumby how to use floodlights on a bike. The team manages to make the light bike so that Harper and Dumby can make it to the boat. The chances are slim, but Michael motivates the team to kick off the plan. Neither Harper nor Dumby looks enthusiastic, so Michael decides to lead the way. He opens the door, and the team follows with their light bike. The zombies attack the team, but are repelled by the flashes. While this happens, Michael simply watches on and prepares for the inevitable as the virus starts to take over his body. Harper and Dumby finally make their escape and then Michael realizes that he's run out of sedatives. Now he spots some zombies running around the building, one of whom is Gabby. Michael calls out to zombie Gabby, so she charges at him, but stops right before biting his flesh. Michael's presence suppresses Gabby's virus and she is able to give him a zombified hug. The couple gets emotional while the zombie virus still remains inside their bodies. Meanwhile, Harper and Dumby make it out of the danger zone using the Tesla boat, powered by paddles, not batteries. The movie ends with a flash, suggesting that there are zombies in the water as well. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.